Welcome. My name is uh, Ben Farrow. I'm from Albi University in the McWhorter School of Building Science. I'm also the president of uh, the Associated Schools of Construction, known as ASC, which represents uh, over 160 uh, college and university degree programs in construction management from across the globe. And today, uh, we wanted to share with you some of the exciting career opportunities that are available uh, in construction management. I'm lucky to be joined by a good friend of mine, Brad Benhart from Purdue University School of Construction Management Technology, as well as a group of industry experts and professionals that will give you a little bit more insight on what a career in construction might look like. Welcome, Brad. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for having me, and thanks to this great panel of people. I'm very excited about this presentation and, and telling all these young folks about the great opportunities. So first, we have uh, our dear friend, Steve Johnson. Uh, he's, he's, he's virtually joining us from California, and he's got an exciting career, and he's brought in some of his great team of people to talk to us. So Steve, thanks for joining us. Hey, you're most welcome, Brad. And Ben, thank you also. Um, hello, everybody. My name's Steve Johnson. I'm a uh, Senior Vice President and Regional Manager for a large construction company in California named Swinerton Builders. Um, I was born and raised in the great state of Iowa and uh, kind of moved to uh, California, gosh, almost 22 years or so ago. Um, live in San Ramon, California. Um, I actually have a four-year construction engineering degree from Iowa State University. And here at Swinerton, um, we are one of the largest contractors in California. And right now we're running on, working on about $4 billion worth of construction here in Northern California. So uh, what I'd like to do is, is kind of introduce one of our operations managers in our building group here in Northern California, Lori Dunn. Lori? Hi, everyone. My name is Lori dunn I am the operations manager for the Bay, El Bay Area Building Group. In that role of operations manager, I am responsible and I oversee all of our project teams that are working on construct construction projects out on site. Um, I live in Oakland, California. I have a four-year civil engineering degree from UC Berkeley. It's really funny because I knew that I loved math and science, um, but I really didn't know what a civil engineer did all day. Um, so I did go ahead and get my civil engineering degree, and I was fortunate enough during college to get a summer internship with Swinerton, and I absolutely fell in love with the business. Um, I'm currently overseeing about $2 billion worth of projects currently right now in the Bay Area. Great, Lori. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Nick, how about uh, introducing yourself as well? Yeah, how's it going, guys? Thanks for having us. I'm Nick Mancarini. Um, right now operating as an assistant superintendent on our Bay Area building division in San Francisco. Uh, I was born and raised in California, just below South Lake Tahoe. Uh, ended up going to Chico State, got a four-year construction management degree. I'm uh, currently on my second project with Swinerton since I've been here, uh, managing the interior um, and a portion of the exterior out in the field on a low-income housing project in the heart of SF. Great. Thanks so much, Nick. Jasmine, how about uh, letting everybody know a little bit about yourself? Hey guys, I'm Jasmine Reyes. Um, I am a senior PE uh, with Swinerton Builders in the Bay Area Building Division. Um, I live in Vallejo, California, but I am from San Francisco. Um, I have a four-year business degree in real estate um, and a master's in construction management. Uh, and currently I am working on a super cool uh, project. It's a floating fire station. It's being built on a barge um, and uh, and uh, it's super exciting. Thanks so much. I appreciate it, Jasmine. So, uh, hey, Ben, why don't you uh, tell us about some of the other things that uh, the, you know, everyone has in common and all these different opportunities we've got. Absolutely. So um, all of uh, our guests today are working in the field of construction management. And, and when we say construction management, what that means is that uh, construction managers are the people that plan and coordinate and basically operate uh, the construction project from beginning until end. And uh, it's a really exciting and growing field. If you look back over the last 10 years, uh, there have been huge market growth and huge opportunity for uh, uh, students finishing construction management programs. 
Uh, we're currently uh, in, a, in a state of uh, a little bit of uncertainty with uh, COVID-19 and all that surrounds that. Uh, but long-term, uh, job expectations look really good. Um, Lori, could you, you tell us a little bit about what you think uh, the construction job market might look like for someone that's in high school now or maybe uh, uh, entering college? Absolutely. Um, I am continuing to see um, tremendous growth in our industry and needs for construction professionals. Um, I've been with Swinerton almost 23 years now, and I have just seen some um, tremendous um, growth in our industry that I, I never would have imagined 20 years ago, but it's been, it's been very solid. And I, I just continue, I, I see that trend for the next, um, for the next many years. Thanks, Lori. Um, so one of the things that, you know, jumps out at us about a career in construction management is all the things that Ben and Lori talked about, but also there's a lot of teamwork and it's a people business. And, and Jasmine, you want to tell us what drew you towards that and the whole people teamwork kind of philosophy? Um, you know, I, I really, really enjoy working on, on a team, not only within Swinerton, um, but also um, with the different entities that are involved in the, 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 on the project. We have the uh, design team um, and then subcontractors. And even though we're all on different sides of the table, um, we all are at the same table. We have the same common goal. And um, that is to build the, the project on time and on budget. And so, um, so working not only within Swinerton, but also with these different entities is really, really um, fulfilling and, and, um, and awesome to do. Sure. Sounds like you get a lot of satisfaction out of that whole camaraderie and building that camaraderie, not only building the project, but building the teams, right? Yeah, absolutely. And even with, you know, with the architect and the uh, plumbing engineer and some of the subcontractors, um, working with them really, really closely um, is, is, is fulfilling. Wonderful. Thank you. So, um, uh, Nick, tell us how you became a, a, a CM. Um, well, it started when I was really young. My dad owns a small GC in Sacramento. Um, and I just grew up around him, constantly driving around in his truck as he's pointing out buildings and stuff they did in the past. And that's what first kind of drew me in. I mean, I had your typical Lego story, you know, kid growing up playing with Legos. Um, but what really drew me in was being able to watch my dad point out all the construction work that he's done and see how proud he was to have worked on something. And then um, first summer I was able to work, came around, I started working in the field, um, grew up working in the field. And once I got old enough to make the decision out of high school, that's all I knew at that point was construction. I knew that's what I love. So I jumped right into it in college. That's awesome. We hear this uh, pride in, in uh, the work completed is such a common reason for people uh, being interested in construction management. And uh, uh, we're lucky enough to have, you know, 160 construction programs uh, in, in uh, construction management schools across the country that, that can help um, uh, provide you a path uh, toward being a construction manager. Jasmine, your path was a little different. How did, how did you uh, get into uh, this, this field? Well, um, right after high school, I went to work as an admin for a contractor, and I was uh, there for quite a while. I, um, I really enjoyed it because I got to see um, what what the um, higher level uh, positions did. Um, I got a you know idea of what estimators did, what the schedulers did, what project engineers did, and 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 project managers, and um, so I. I, I had an understanding of what I wanted to do, and um, so I, I went to uh, school and got a I got a degree in construction management. That's great. Sounds like somebody thinking about a career in this uh, field I should certainly think about a summer internship in construction. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, uh, I'm gonna flip the table back to you, Nick. You mentioned you know uh, you're big in the Legos, and you you came from a family of general construction. You, you know, tell us a little bit, you mentioned Chico State about some of your experiences in college that kind of helped build you on this, uh, if you will. Yeah, um, I actually put a little plug for ASC in there too, because that was huge. When I uh, stepped into college, uh, um, Chico State had a great programs outside of school. 
So obviously you learn a lot of this stuff, um, you know, the technical, the actual technology side of everything in the classes and whatnot. But what was huge for me was the clubs and groups outside where we actually got to put our hands on, um, did some Habitat for Humanity project, just mentioning, but that, that was huge play in my uh, college experience. I ended up working for four different companies, doing internships in the summer, winter, um, all throughout school. And that was awesome to be able to take everything you're learning while you're learning it and actually go and use it out in the field. You know, bad, uh, Brad and Ben, I, I have to put a plug in for ASC here because, you know, for any student that's going to college um, in a construction program or an architecture program or civil program, that ASC competition that's put on every year in all regions throughout the U.S. is an absolutely fantastic event and a, a competition that actually helps, helps to connect students to that career path rather than just the, the pure academic side that they get. Um, so I, I really think that's a wonderful program that ASC provides to college students. Thank so. you. It, it certainly is a, a field that, that lends itself to a lot of education opportunities that are, uh, engage the person and allow them to, to really participate firsthand and, and to, to learn to, almost in a hands-on uh, application type manner. Yeah, I can actually uh, tag on to that a little bit too, what Steve was saying. I did it all four years I was in college. Don't get me wrong, it was a lot of work, but um, I can attest to all my internships to ASC. That's, that's great. So, um, uh, Lori, tell us, tell us a little bit more about, um, you know, somebody that's, that's, that's in college now or, or entering. Uh, what might they look forward to as, as far as what specific types of job opportunities they might pursue uh, within the broader field of construction management. Absolutely. So um, I think new graduates, first of all, are going to be really happy that they can pay bills. I mean, you know, it's a it's a very <laughs> it's a it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, and so I know for myself, I was just so excited to be able to to put a budget together and be able to pay bills. Um, but. I think the traditional path would be a project engineer coming out of school, and that's where you're really going to learn the, the documentation, the boots on the ground, how to build a building. And I think the thing that I love about Swinerton is that we do want our people to love coming to work every day. So we're very flexible. Um, so whether so when someone joins as a project engineer, um, we want to work with them to develop their passion to find out, do they want to do more office side project manager, or do they want to go more in the field route and go assistant superintendent like Nick has done? Um, or for, for Jasmine's example, that's going more, it's likely, although we're flexible, I think it's likely that Jasmine would want to go the project manager path. Um, but there's also opportunities as it relates to scheduling and estimating, doing takeoffs, helping us come up with costs. Um, VDC and modeling. So um, here at Swinerton, we're very flexible. We want people to be doing what they want to do. And so um, we're, we're very much open to trying to expose our new graduates to the different um, tools and skill sets um, that we have in the industry. Excellent. Um, this slide shows uh, how someone might enter a, a large construction company and, and move up through the ranks, so to speak, uh, toward, the, toward the top. And uh, uh, Steve, uh, not to sort of put you on the spot here, but, but you're someone that, that sort of has done that. And, and from somebody that's sitting at that sort of top bar or that corporate executive level, um, could you share with us a little bit um, uh, to maybe identify some of the jobs uh, you've held or that that you've seen uh, in your time in construction management? Yeah, I, I, I tell you what, if, if I didn't know any better, uh, then this is, <laughs> this is almost a spitting image of the kind of chart that we put together here at Swinerton that explains how someone coming into the organization can take several paths to the top. I know my own career, I started out really in the construction field, uh, working either as an iron worker or a carpenter but once I graduated from college, came in through the engineering side, and I've kind of done both estimating and scheduling, but um, my path was up through the project management side uh, to where I'm at one of the senior corporate department manager or regional manager spots. 
Uh, we actually have one of our executive committee here at Swinerton started out as a carpenter and now is on the board of directors uh, here at Swinerton. So the really cool thing I like about construction is you've got three, four, maybe five different paths in construction where if you can start down a path and that may be not what you like, but you get some experience in it, you can move laterally within the organization and take a different career path whatever path that kind of suits your, uh, I guess, your desire, your, your acumen, uh, kind of what interests you is really what's cool about construction. That's awesome, Steve. Thank you. Uh, you know, I think construction too often has a reputation of, you know, you got to start with a, with a hammer and, and, and getting dirty. And while that may be a, 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 an avenue for some people, uh, it's not the only avenue, is it? No, not at all. In fact, there are so many people I've talked to in my career that really don't necessarily understand construction. And that's why I think it's really important to kind of learn a little bit more, which I think this video is fantastic to do. But there are so many different ways to enter the construction industry. We even have people that are here working at Swinerton that really don't have a construction degree, but decided that's where they wanted to go. So. Um, I would encourage anybody who has any kind of a desire to get into construction, uh, give it a shot, take it, take a try. That's great. Uh, thank you all, uh, all for those comments. Um, this slide here is we highlight this for anyone who's exploring construction because it's often uh, a connection that a lot of times young people are considering architecture, civil engineering, construction management. And you, you've heard from the people today already that uh, we all came from different backgrounds and, and, and how we ended up different places. So we highlight this to kind of represent that the, the circles as time goes are becoming more and more overlapped and we all get to work in a little bit of this. So if you're someone who thinks maybe I have a little bit of architecture in me and I want to be able to have satisfy that, you have that civil engineering, the same thing, construction management. And so... Let me, let me do this just to kind of go around the horn here with, with everyone's background a little bit. You know, maybe, um, Ben, can I start with you, put you on the spot? You started as a structural engineer, right? I did. Uh, my uh, degree out of college was in civil engineering, one of the, one of the broadest of, of engineering fields. It really deals with all types of infrastructure uh, that's, that's needed uh, across the globe. Uh, I was a practicing structural engineer. Uh, and so uh, while the architect might envision what the building might look like and how it might function and, and sort of paint the vision for the building, uh, the structural engineer says, well, if this is what it is going to look like and this is how it's going to function, then this is where you need to put your columns and your beams and this is how big they need to be uh, so that the building stands up and functions accordingly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, let's see. Jasmine, how about you? You came from a real estate background. Yep, I, my bachelor's degree is in uh, business real estate, um, but I knew that I wanted to uh, work in construction and I decided to pursue my master's in construction management. Okay, and then Steve, you, you started on the blue side, right? Yeah, I tell you what, Brad, this was an interesting. I, I, I came up through high school um, back a long time ago, sorry to date myself, but Back in the days of high school, we had industrial arts classes, which was really drafting and, and drawing. And I thought that was what I wanted to be as an architect. Um, I started, as I started down a couple of years in, in Iowa State, really wasn't 100% on board with architecture, but my summer jobs were working for contractors. And I discovered that there was a construction engineering program at Iowa State University. And Wow, uh, two years in, I decided to change my career, and it has been an absolutely fantastic change for me. Uh, I never felt more connected to really what I wanted to do in life. So a uh, little bit of a circuitous path, but, but got to the right place. Sure, sure. That's great. And Nick, how about yourself? Um, you know, personally for me, um, by the time I got through high school, all I knew was obviously the field route. Um, but all I heard about was a construction management program. It wasn't until I actually got to college that I heard about the architecture and the civil engineering. And there was times uh, while I was in school first starting out that I thought about switching to architecture and then thought about switching to civil engineering. Um, but once I got into the construction management field, I realized how much they overlap, similar to that diagram you have. 
So yeah. I didn't really feel like I was missing out on some of those, you know, opportunities because I got aspects of those. You get a little bit of all of it, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and Nick, you said something that's really important for everyone to understand, and, and that is all three of these circles, uh, we probably, as is, is, is industries, we probably don't do the best job of communicating the young people what we all do. I hear a lot of times from young people uh, at the university where they didn't know about construction management, but they knew about architecture and engineering. And, and they actually thought architecture and engineering is what, when they finally learned what it was, they're like, oh, wait a minute, this is really construction management, right? So it's, it's educating and really understanding the difference, right? So, and I was like yourself, I came up through the yellow circle as well. So Lori, how about you, last but not least? Um, I would just say, you know, I started undergrad as a civil engineering major. I think the thing that changed the tides for me was starting to take construction management classes, and I realized um, how valuable communication was. I really liked the idea that construction management combined my technical skills as well as my communication skills. And so that's what I think really turned the tide for me and had me thinking that I wanted to go the construction management route. That, that, well said, well said. It, it satisfies those different things. So that's great. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, as we begin to wrap up a little bit here, I want to make sure I, we give everybody a chance to, to offer any parting comments or suggestions that, that you may have for somebody that was, was out there watching this video and thinking about a, a career in, in construction management. Uh, Jasmine, do you mind starting for us? Um, can you come back to me? <laughs> Absolutely. Nick, you want to share something, uh, uh, maybe um, a, a thought or comment that you have, or, or maybe something that just really inspires you and encourages you to go to work uh, the next day in construction management? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've already mentioned it once, but um, being able to take pride in your work and actually have something physical that you get to drive by and see every day um, is a huge aspect for me and what keeps me, you know, moving project to project. Um, and then kind of what everybody else has mentioned is the amount of people you get to work with um, and the, the vast you know, variety of people you get to work with, um, different communication styles is something that's always intrigued me. And um, until you actually get out in the field, you don't realize how much of that you get to do um, and just how broad of a spectrum you get to touch. So those are kind of the two big things for me. Excellent. Lori, how about you? Um, you know, similar with Nick, I think there's just a lot of pride when you're able to work on a project and you're able to go back to that project and see it completed. It's, it's very um, satisfying to see all of your hard work go into a project. And I just think that the teamwork element is, is so important. It's, it's so nice to have other team members where you know that you're going to roll up your sleeves and you're going to work hard and you're going to get things done. Um, so that's super, super important. Awesome. Steve? You know, I, I, I love the fact that this is still a people business. Um, you know, we talk, and, and I've talked to several people in, the, in my 40 plus years in this business, and we all talk about how we're going to, you know, get into, you know, uh, prefabrication. Uh, pre we, we need to look at robots. But you know what? This is still a people business, and I love working with people. So anyone who loves working with people and being collaborative and really trying to figure out how to solve problems, this is a great career for you. That's awesome. That problem solving uh, aspect is, uh, uh, is something that really um, uh, appealed to me and made, made construction fun for me. Jasmine, uh, any, any thoughts? Yeah, uh, going back to what Nick and Lori said, um, being from San Francisco and having the opportunity to go back uh, to San Francisco and build, uh, you know, these buildings that are so long lasting is really, really near and dear to my heart and really fulfilling. Well, you've got a cool job too, Jasmine, a floating fire station mm -hmm, right? Right? Yep. around the country. Right. <laughs> Brad, you want to tell us about um, uh, some other opportunities? Sure, sure. So if you take your phone out and turn on your QR code reader, uh, these two, uh, uh, the, these two uh, links will take you to two videos. Combined, they're no more than 20 minutes long, and they do a great job of, of kind of explaining more opportunities and give you some different perspectives of 
career paths and, and opportunities in this this great industry, which uh, if it isn't obvious, we're all very passionate about it. So thanks, Ben. So uh, we didn't want to leave the exercise uh, without uh, giving you a little opportunity to, to play a game or to, to try this uh, personally. Uh, and so on the next couple of slides, um, we've, we've got a, a exercise that you can try if you'd like to. If, again, if you'll take your phone and, and scan the image in the lower right-hand corner of this slide, uh, it'll take you to a, a, a software link called Mechabricks that you can do online. And we've challenged you to build a small bridge here. You can see in the upper chart on the right-hand side the, the blocks that you'll need and the number of each. Uh, and then on the lower left-hand chart, we've given you a little cost information for, for what those pieces may cost. This is no different than, than how we might put a building or a bridge or some other structure together uh, in, in practice. Um, and then on the following uh, sheet, we've asked a series of questions. Uh, the first question says, hey, look, if you built this and, and, and uh, paid for the, the blocks using the chart on the previous page, how much would it cost? Uh, the second question says, hey, look, and not only do we have materials as part of the cost, but we've got uh, labor as part of the cost. And so if you included uh, labor, uh, how, how much would that uh, increase the cost? And then uh, the other three questions are really about, uh, you know, things don't always go as they're planned. And so, you know, what might happen if you had to get some different size blocks? How would that change the work? Would it cost more? Would it cost less? Would it be more efficient or less, less efficient and why? Uh, what if the manufacturer only sold the blocks in, in packages of four? How would that impact uh, what you're doing and what you're left with at the end of the project? We really hope you'll engage with this and maybe it'll give you a little bit better idea about this awesome career uh, in construction management. Um, and as we wrap up, I, I want to thank uh, again uh, our guests today. I uh, thank my friend Brad for participating uh, and thank Steve and Lori and Nick and Jasmine. Um, uh, people, as Steve said, are really what make this business and uh, this discussion about uh, construction management and the great opportunities here has just highlighted that again for me. Thank you for joining us. We hope you'll seriously consider a career in construction management. Thank you.